I want to explain to you what I call conflicting eyes. You have your seven eyes, the seven things that make you feel important, which is your emotional fingerprint. And it goes two ways. You have conflicting eyes within yourself, and you have conflicting eyes with other people. Let's talk about yourself first. Do you have eyes where you feel pulled, like you want to do something this way, and you want to do something that way, and you kind of have this emotional roller coaster? Let's go back to principle three. You'll do anything within your belief system to defend and support your emotional fingerprint. So in essence, you'll do anything within your belief system to get your eyes met. So if one of your eyes is control or security, and you have another eye that's free and independent, those are kind of a conflict. You want to have security, you want to have control, but yet you also want to feel free and independent. Those have a conflict. What you have to do is what I call align your eyes for success. Making each one internal, realizing what you can control, where you can create security, and how you can feel free and independent. That will align your eyes for success. Another thing is, let's say you have an eye of control, and a spouse or a loved one, a friend, has an eye of feeling free and independent. So those eyes right there are in direct conflict. Well, have you ever been in a relationship where you kind of have the same arguments over and over and over again? You can number them. Let's have argument 15. Tomorrow we're going to have argument 16. And you're going to go upstairs and you're going to go outside. Well, it's because these conflicting eyes never get resolved. So you have to be conscious enough. Sit down with your loved one or your friend or partner. Identify their eyes. Identify your eyes. And how do you line them both for success? Where both people can feel you know, confident or feel in control while the other person is feeling free and independent. You got to plan your day getting your eyes met while not offending their eyes. Another thing I'd ask you to do is look at your emotional fingerprint, your seven eyes, and see if one of them is more dominant than another. Of all the people I've interviewed, which is in the thousands now, I have found that about 50%. So if you look at your seven eyes, instantly one will jump out and say, that's my most dominant. Or I say, no, nah, it all depends on the environment. For me, number three is free and independent. That's my most dominant eye is to be free and independent. So when that gets swayed by my wife, by my business associates, um, by the economy, then all six others seem to get offended really rapidly. But if I stay internal with that one, I kind of build a pyramid of protection, I'm fine. As long as I can feel free and independent, nothing else bothers me. I'm very passive, I'm very relaxed, I don't have a temper. So with yourself, what's your dominant eye? You may not have one. It doesn't matter if you do or not. But if you do have one, be very conscious of it and make sure you keep that internal by validating it for you, by you. And that is the definition of conflicting eyes.